Hello everyone, my name is Jake and I'm Aiden's dad. Today I'm coming in to chat a little bit about Aiden and what does it mean for him and for you that he has Down syndrome. So let's watch this video. We are all born from a cell. It's a part of your body, very, very teeny tiny. You can only see it through a microscope. Inside the tiny cells live the chromosomes, which are even smaller. Chromosomes are responsible for our features, like our eye color, hair type, whether we will be a boy or a girl, all the things we are born with and we cannot change. In total, we have 46 chromosomes, 23 from your mom and 23 from your dad. But sometimes there's one extra chromosome. Then the baby is born with 47 chromosomes. This condition is called Down syndrome. Doctors don't know why it happens. It's just like that, and it cannot be changed. In the world, more than 3,000 babies are born with Down syndrome every year, and just like you, are part of a family, have siblings, parents, uncles, aunts, and grandparents, and they can do the same as you. They go to school, to parties, to the park, they play sports, and they have friends. And when they grow up, they can also have a job, a family, and they can live a very happy life, just like you. Down syndrome is not a disease. It's something you're born with. You cannot choose to have Down syndrome or not, just like you cannot choose your eye color or your hair type. People with Down syndrome are the same as the rest of us. The only difference is that they need more of our help. But why? Because sometimes people with Down syndrome could have a hard time speaking or listening well. That's why some children need extra help at school. If you have a friend with Down syndrome, be kind and help him. For example, when you talk to him, look him in the eyes and give him time to answer. Don't call him names. Be his friend. Treat him with respect and motivate him to do things on his own. Don't forget. People with Down syndrome learn slowly, but they can do the same as you. Help your friend with Down syndrome and set the example for everyone else. If you don't know how, ask your teacher or a grown-up. And remember, we all need help from time to time. Good morning, everyone. Do you want to know what time it is? Uh, Alexa, what time is it? It's 5.38 a.m. 5.38 a.m. And we are up and ready. What are we going to do right now, Aiden? Um, oh, you're going to show us how to do toast, toast, omelet? Yeah. Okay, can you start getting this? I have toast, egg, and cheese. All right, you're going to get some cheese out today. Okay, yeah. so we got cheese. And we're going to get the bread. we got to get the eggs. we got to be careful about the eggs, right? Okay, we got the eggs coming out. Okay. And butter. All right. Oh, we're going to have some of Mommy's juice. All right. What do we have to get out now? All right, we're back, and what do we have in front of us? Um, so to Omelet. Yeah. Oh, and you're showing them? Yeah. Who is who? Aiden, who do we have behind you? Uh, who is mommy? that? No, behind you. Who am I? Mommy. I'm mom. Is that mommy? Yeah. Yeah. So Michelle. What is it, what would you like to have the class learn or take away about Aiden? That Aiden is kind and Aiden is a hard worker and he's sensitive. If he can't figure things out, he may get a little frustrated easily, right? What yeah. does it look like when he gets frustrated? What does it look like? What does your face look like when you're mad? Oh, oh just like that. Yeah. Ready? Hi, my name is Noah, that's Aiden's brother. What does it mean to have a brother with Down syndrome to you? Um, he's really special to me. Boy, what is he really good at? Playing. 
He loves to play. Mm -hmm. What is his favorite to thing to play with? Toy Story guys. Toy Story guys. Hi everyone, Toy I'm Brittany, Aiden's sister. Um, to me, having a brother with Down syndrome is just having just another sibling that just needs a little bit more patience and understanding to um, communicate what he needs and wants. Um, I'm so happy that he has a class that um, wants to learn more about Down syndrome and what it means. And Hi, I'm Marina Marina So are we in your playroom, Aiden? Yeah. Can you tell us about your playroom? Yeah. What are you holding on to right now? A bit. Yeah, that. Swing. It's a swing? What do you do in the swing? You swing on it? You mean you get to swing inside? Yeah. Where does that go to? What is that? Is that like a little tree fort? Yes. What's inside? Can you show us? It's a baba. That's a robot, yeah. Is there a, do is there a dog in your fort? Yeah. Yeah. A dog. All your dogs? Yeah. What else is in your fort? In your Chewy, yeah. yeah. All right, we're getting on the bus today, right? Yeah. Who's your bus driver? Hello. Miss Ashley. Abby. Yeah, and we ride on the bus right here. It's ready to pick us up. Yes. Okay, you get on. Okay. And then Lizzie will pick you up, right? Yeah, right. That's the mail. Yeah, check the mail. I will. All right. I can honestly say my life has been changed since meeting Aiden. He brings a, a light, a sparkle, a thirst for life that I don't often see in other people. Hmm. It's fun to watch Aiden play teacher with our class as I see some of myself mimicked in him. Make sure that I can be the best teacher I can be. And I'm grateful for Aiden for that reason. Hey everyone, um, my name's Sarah. I'm Aiden's speech therapist. If you are talking to Aiden and you can't understand him, you could definitely ask him to use his low tech system. You could um, tell him to slow down. You could see if he'll use his pacing board. You could also ask him maybe to say it again. Um, that's okay. He might get a little frustrated, but he'll let you know when he's ready. So I've known Aiden for about a year now, and I see him four days a week. And all four of those days are full of energy, dancing, smiles, laughs. All right, thanks for joining us, everyone, and learning a little bit more about this guy, Aiden, and him having Down syndrome. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.